What's up, squad? It is clock on my day off, guys, and I got a hold of a brand new strain, and I am so freaking stoked to try it out, guys. We got a hold of another Revolution Tales and Travels new strain called Moose Tracks, guys. I've been looking at this strain for a couple weeks now. I went on, I went um, shopping today and I decided to grab it, guys. It is a strain that, of course, I strain in Illinois. Of course, it's going to be either crossed with gelato or wedding cake or wedding cake. And, of course, this one is another one that's crossed with gelato. It's called Moose Tracks. I just said that. It's an indica-leaning hybrid. And... It says pairs well with lakeside chilling, lakeside chilling, night swimming, and campfires. Ooh, super cool. And it's a cross between gelato and animal mints. If you guys don't know, gelato and wedding cake, in my opinion, are probably the two most cross strains in Illinois. And then there's animal mints in here, which is a California classic, which is a cross between animal cookies and cinnamon cookies so this is pretty much all cookie strain cookies pretty much runs the industry is what i realized and by the description of all the close-ups of the uh bud if you only want to see the bud only because we're about to go in on this and see what's to it and do a full-on review it's testing at 24.77 thca 26.10 total t um cannabinoids and it was packaged on 628, and today is 88. So it was pack it was packaged about a month and 10 days ago, a little bit more. And anyway, terpenes, beta caryophylline, linalool, limonene, humulene, and visible. I'm not a big um fan about visible actually i don't even know too much about it but anyway guys if you don't know who the fuck i am guys i'm the certified smoker and if you guys are buying weed anywhere in the fucking world and aren't subscribed i do a brand new review every day and let me waste my tracks by tales and travels let's see what's to it guys don't let me down revolution don't, let's you haven't in a long time and when as soon as i crack it does it scream at me a little bit. I could tiny get a remnant. Now it's screaming a little louder. You're screaming a little bit. It's saying, what's up, guy? What's up? I hear. I see you. Okay. It's getting louder. Um, As soon as it's... I've noticed lately, guys, when I've opened a lot of these new bags, that it's got to kind of air out. It's got a little musty smell right off the bat. This still has got that musty smell. I don't smell that gas right off the beginning that I normally need to. Ooh, but the looks are incredible and it feels so fresh, guys. Take a look at this stuff, guys. The difference, if you guys don't know, between Tales and Trap Revolution is it's all grown in the same grow room. It's just that the Tales and Travel stuff is more mass produced. So they all, so this stuff is more in, in a like bigger grow operations. So it's not a small batch grow like the revolution. And now that I'm looking at it a lot closer, it's a little bit more straggly than the normal revolution stuff is. Let me get you guys a good look at one of these buds, guys. It, don't get me wrong, guys. This stuff looks incredible. And bud structure looks great. It looks frosty as shit. But you could definitely tell it's not the full-blown revolution, 100% glass jar stuff. Even though that I've seen just as good of quality in the Tales and Travels as I have in the glass jars. This one, you could tell, is tiny bit uh, more, see, not as higher highest quality as the other but don't get me wrong guys this stuff smells great already as it sits around a little bit it's getting louder and louder see the frost and the trichome coverage on this stuff guys again if you want to see better shots of the buds there's going to be a link in the description of all close-up shots and i want to look at this stuff guys 
really good. Look at those. It looks like a snowball. Don't get me wrong. I'm splitting hairs when I say it's not as good as get the revolution stuff looks wise. It feels a lot more squishier. It's not as crunchy as the revolution. It's not, I feel like it's not as well cured, but it still seems damn good. And I feel like it, it looks similar to like the rhythm mass grown produced one, like a rhythm eighth. And but don't, don't get me wrong, this stuff loud, frosty, and incredible looking. I can't wait to smoke the shit so we can see what's to it. What do you guys been smoking on in the comment squad? I haven't seen you guys in a couple days. Oh, actually, we were here yesterday doing a what the fuck is inside, the seventh edition. Yeah, guys, as I'm putting my nose over this tray, it is super, super loud. And bud structure is incredible it's so much i could and you could totally see gelato remnants and the smell of the gelato come out in this strain completely and for bag weed this stuff looks incredible i'm super stoked to try it and i can't wait to smoke this shit i want to get you guys a couple more shots and shit's about to get fucking real guys Let's smoke this shit and let's get this stuff scored. And bud structure wise, this stuff looks incredible. There's see, there's a there's some definition to this. There's the stems are non-existent, so the breeding looks great. It's a little bit more squishier than I'd like it to be. I wish it was a dried out a tiny bit more, but I'm splitting hairs. And as I said, the stem is really tiny. And the trichome coverage, like the frost, if you guys don't know what I mean by trichome coverage, that means the crystals, the THC crystals, they don't only stay on the surface. Like a lot of the strains nowadays, you'll see the, the crystals just on the surface. Even when I bust this open, let me see. Yeah, it looks, yeah, you could see the frost throughout the whole bud. Let's see if I can show it to you guys. Let's see if we can get a good shot. See what I mean? Nope, that's not a good shot. See what I mean, guys? There's frost throughout the whole bud, not just on the surface. Anyway, guys, bud structure one breaks up pretty damn perfect. The breakup on this is really good, and I could definitely smell the mintiness from the animal mint. Let's do a, uh, a stick test on this stuff. And let's see how sticky this stuff is. Stick to my fingers. See how sticky it is? Okay, to the thumb. One, two, three, four, four seconds to the thumb. Okay, sticky. So it's pretty fresh. Anyway, smell-wise, it's getting louder and louder and louder. The gelato smell is coming out even more. And... Wow, guys, it smells really, really, really um, sweet. Really, really sweet. And I can't wait to smoke this shit. And if you guys don't know who the fuck I am, again, I am the certified smoker. Shit's about to get fucking real, guys. If you don't know, Revolution is one of the top brands in Illinois. They won the Cannabis Cup three years in a row on Bud Structure. It could be a little bit dried out better. We're going to give it a 7.4 bud structure on smell, though. It is loud as all fucking get out, guys. We're going to give it a 8.7 on smell. Now, this is where shit gets fucking real, where it really matters that taste. And this tracks the certified smoker. Let's see what's fucking to it. Another, another tasty winner by Revolution's Tales and Travels line, guys. I paid, what, $36.50 for this eighth, guys? This quality that Revolution's releasing is on a whole new level, guys. 
so so tasty guys wow that tastes incredible the how far cannabis is coming in the last three years legalization is black and white the mass production has stopped small batch grows as it has picked up quality has increased and it's due to things like this it's due to things like us letting the quality out before people could buy it so they know what to buy Hit the thumbs up buttons, guys. Let's hit. Let's grow this goddamn community so we know what to buy. We're gonna give this a taste score of nine point oh. I'm gonna say it maybe eight point nine, eight point nine on taste. But this stuff is incredible, hundred percent certified. Let's wait till it kicks in. Give it an effect score, and while we give it an effect score, let's let it kick in a little bit. And I want to get you guys a couple more shots. And tell you guys, it is, I'm at, four, we're gay guys, we're at 418 subscribers, two away from 420, guys. I want to do a giveaway, figure out a way to do it. Anyway, guys, what do you, look at this shit, guys, isn't this stuff incredible looking? And I highly certify this strain by fucking Tales and Travels. One more hit, and we're going to give it an effect score. And if there's anything you guys want me to review, let me know. I picked up this new brand. Today, you guys heard of it. It's called 420, Interstate 420. It's a new strain called Double Stuffed Kush. The guy at the dispensary that I yeah, I trusted him, I'm like, what is something that is a sleeper that people that I think that I, you think I like that people don't know about? He's like, that's one of them. We'll see what's to it, guys. 420, Interstate 420. We'll see, this is going to be a review coming up. So look out for that one. Anyway, Moose Tracks, let's hit it one more time and give it an effect. It's an Indica. It says Indica. Indica leading hybrid. I feel... Definitely the hybrid. I don't feel too much of that indica. Kind of a little bit, but not 100%. I almost want to hit it one more time so I can give you guys a real effect score. To be honest, guys, I'm not feeling it as much as I should be. But maybe, oh, see, this bud structure on this bud is a lot better. Did you guys see that? When I busted that bud open, it literally had a puff of crisp, of like, um, trichomes just pop up in the air. That's how you know that it's just the quality is just getting crazy. That the crystals are just falling off as you break the bud. That's why um, people are getting mad at me for not using um, grinders. I'm Team No Grinder, guys. If anybody here is Team No Grinder, join the squad. If you're not, join it anyway. The reason I'm Team No Grinder, guys, if you guys haven't heard, is because back in the day, Carrying on a big piece of metal that's in your pocket is just one more thing that you're going to get arrested with. <laughs> Either way, guys, let's hit it one time and let's give this an effect score. Effect, we're going to go taste so damn good. Yeah, that taste is incredible. We're going to go, taste is a lot better than the effect. We're going to go 8.7 on effect and overall score. Anyway, guys, this strain is a definitely certified. If you like that flavored, tasty stuff, this stuff is a definite go-to strain. Moose Tracks by fucking Revolutions, Tales and Travels line is certified as fuck. And you guys know who the fuck I am. I'm the certified smoker. Peace. The fuck out. You guys know where to leave the comments.